I'm going to begin my final calligraphy. Um, so here I've chosen my style of lettering. Um, and I'm going to continue using my um, sheet in the back as sort of a reference, but I'm not sticking exactly to that. So I'm not using the same kind of lettering that the paper has. Um, I'm just using that as helping me make sure I'm um, keeping my line straight, knowing where the notes go for each syllable of the music, um, and just helping me know kind of some of my spacing. But um, just going to continue writing. So again, notice how I'm using different strokes, picking up my pen. Let me go ahead and make sure I get the notes as well. So I kind of have to move my paper around a little bit, check where I'm at. I'm changing the angle of my pen. So instead of the 45 degree angle, I'm doing a straight up and down for these since they don't use um, that angle. And I'm turning my pen again to make that narrow line. So I'm going to continue to adjust, readjust, keep watching where I'm, where my words need to go um, as I continue to write. All right, so this has taken quite a while. It takes quite a bit of patience in order to do calligraphy, but the results are worth it. So um, I have all of my notes, all of my words written out. Um, I actually have two pages now, okay? Um, but this is still missing something, all right? So our... Uh, left out the V at the very beginning because I wanted to do an illuminated letter there. Now I have some examples here of different kinds of illuminated letters one could make. I mean, these are just some examples, but you can, the sky is the limit with the different kinds of designs. Um, your imagination is really the limit when it comes to different designs, okay? So these are just some examples. So I use some of them for inspiration. But I knew that I wasn't going to get exactly what I wanted the first time. 
So I did a few experiments and kind of was trying to figure out, okay, I, I know the letter that I need is a V. Um, I'm going to start with something nice and simple, maybe add some different details, shape the V a little bit different, add a curve here, add some details and some shadows. Um, this one, I was trying something different. I don't, this is my least favorite one, but it's good to draw things that don't work in order to know the things that you really like. So I ended up really liking this shape. Um, I thought it was simple, but really elegant. Um, but this song is about the Holy Spirit. So Veni Creator Spiritus, come Creator Spirit. Okay. So I wanted to draw a dove as well. And I also like this box. So I might just add um, a box around this as well. And like these little details. So like I want that to be smoothed out a little bit. I want this to be a little bit pointier. Okay, so those little details can help as well. So I'm going to draw a box around it. Um, it would actually be really good to use a ruler. That's a good, good idea to try to get those lines nice and straight. I'm having the box go behind the dove's wings. Okay, now I have my illuminated letter that I want to do. Um, I do also want to, so I'm going to outline it in Sharpie because um, I want to fill some of these areas in with different colors. So I don't want to draw them all the way in with black. So what I'm going to do is outline. Oops, let me try that. That's in the center for you there. Sorry. Oops. Accidentally turned on my light here. Get rid of all the marks that I don't want. There we go. Now I'm ready to trace it onto my final draft. There we go. Ooh, it's a little bit big. Hmm. I still think that'll work. But I'm not going to draw this in Sharpie because that kind of made too dark of a line. So I'm going to use, hmm, I'm use a thinner pen. All right. So I decided to use some different colors. So I'm not going to use black. I might use black for certain things. Like maybe I will outline actually the V in black. to outline the rest and fill in the V with red since the Holy Spirit is also represented by fire. I'm going to color in the V with red. Now I think I might make this background gold. I think that would look nice. So I'm going to go, I'm going to always color in the same direction to make that look neat. I'm going to try to make it the same color since going over it also changes how light or dark it is. So I'm trying always to have a nice consistency. Okay. 
the myth be the truth. I've created these sheets for you in order to get started on your illuminated manuscript, right? So I showed you in this kind of all the different options that you would have, okay? So you could do the chant notation. So if you wanted to do that, you could have one line of the chant notation, the next line, the words, chant notation, words, chant notation, words. Um, that's up to you. You could also just have the scripture. Okay, so you could start just with writing the scripture. Um, what you have to have is the illuminated letter. Okay, try to relate the design or image that you use to the words. Um, so you have to have the illuminated letter. I've already created a box for you here. And then you have to have the words of scripture, okay, or sacred song. Um, so if you need help finding your source material, what you would like to use, I know a ton of beautiful hymns in English and in Latin. Um, and I also um, can help you find scripture passages if you'd like. All right, so you need the illuminated letter and the words, um, and if you need help, if you would like to do the music as well, I can help you with that. Great.